What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Seabass and today I'm at Bill Bags again for uh, Pier 7 in my challenge to fish uh, every pier at this park. I'm almost done. I'll have one more after this which will be Pier 8 and I'm going to be out there on Saturday, March 27th if you want to stop by and say hello. Uh, it'll be the last pier so I want to make it on a Saturday where I can invite friends out and uh, we could have a good time. Right now it's 7.30 in the morning. Um, we are officially in daylight savings time, so as far as the fish are concerned, it's 6.30 in the morning. That's the only reason I like daylight savings is because I get to come out here an hour earlier. Um, but I will be fishing from the time the park opens to hopefully around 3. 3.30, which would put me right at about 190 hours. I'm also excited because this weekend is my sister's birthday and she wants to celebrate it fishing, so we're gonna do a uh, long key. I'm definitely gonna have the camera with me and I'll document that process. Hopefully we get to put in some good hours out there. And if we do more than 10, uh, I will officially be at 200, which is pretty exciting. Once again, I couldn't find the pilcher guy. I'm hoping he's all right. Um, but I asked the guy at the bait store and he told me that yeah, the guy gets there at 3 in the morning and he's usually there till like 1 in the afternoon. So I pulled up and I looked for him but he wasn't there. Alright guys, I got about 15 minutes to get everything set up so when I get there I can just start fishing. Alright, Pier 7 first impressions. It's probably like right in the middle as far as size goes. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, I can see the bottom from the, from the edge of the pier so that indicates it's a little bit shallower than the other ones. Somebody left this fishing rod here. Yeah, the guy from the park came by this morning. He said he found it. The reel is broken, but I'm gonna save the rod. Beautiful fish. Yeah, the moment of truth. So close. We gotta measure it. So close. Alright y'all, I just got through fishing. It was a pretty slow day, but not an uneventful one. I got to meet a lot of cool people, including NBK Fishing, who's a fellow YouTuber. I saw a video of him catching some nice jack out here, and so I recognized him, and I hopped over and I said, what's up? I also got a chance to meet a guy called Toby from Brooklyn. We were fishing pretty much the whole morning, and he was there when I caught that mutton snapper, so it was really exciting to share that moment with him. And then right as he left, I met Chris and Miriam, a really nice couple, who were fishing at Bags for the first time. Unfortunately, the fishing wasn't so good while they were there. Chris and Miriam, I would encourage you to give it another shot on a day that there are better conditions, just because there are fish out here worth keeping, so I'd encourage you to do that. I put in six and a half hours of fishing, which puts me at 190, which is pretty exciting because that means on Saturday I may be able to hit 200 when we go to the Keys. Um, I'll be back next week to finish this challenge, PR8. I'll be here March 27th. It's a Saturday, and I'll be here pretty much all day. As usual, guys, thank you so much for keeping up with the progress, and I will see you in the next video.